Is your Mac always warning you that you're running out of storage? In this video, I'm going to show you three simple and effective ways to free up space on your Mac's hard drive. So double check before removing anything and make sure you've backed up important data. Let's go! Let's start with the easiest method. Go to System Settings, General, Storage. Here you'll see a breakdown of what's using up your Mac space, plus a colorful graph that makes it easy to understand. You'll also get recommendations, such as store in iCloud. I don't usually recommend this unless you're willing to pay for extra iCloud storage. Optimize Apple TV storage. Click here, then you can clear downloaded shows and movies. Of course, these files can be easily re-downloaded at any time, so don't be afraid. Empty trash automatically, helpful if you forget to empty it yourself. By the way, when you delete files, the disk space won't become free until you've emptied your trash, so make sure to empty your trash frequently. Next, scroll down and you'll see which apps and documents are the biggest space hogs. Click the info button and you can remove files or uninstall applications you don't need anymore. Next, view the document list. You can switch between the four categories above. For example, I first select large files and then sort them by size so that I can clearly see which files are taking up my space. Similarly, select the files I don't need and click delete in the lower right corner. Method two, finding large files with Finder and Spotlight. Now, let's go a bit deeper. Most of the time, the real issue isn't a ton of tiny files. It's a few massive ones taking up all the space. A good way to track these down is by using Finder. Start by opening Finder and navigating through your folders using the sidebar. Some folders may be hidden by default, but you can enable them in Finder settings. I like to switch to list view, then press command and J and check calculate all sizes. This forces Finder to display the size of every folder, so you can easily sort by the biggest ones and see exactly where your storage is going. If you want an even faster way, use Finder's Spotlight search function. Type anything in the search bar, like M4, then click the plus button to add a filter. Choose file size. If you don't have file size as a filtering option, click other in the list. Then type file size and add it to the list. After that, set it to show files larger than 1 GB, 5 GB, or even 10 GB. This will instantly reveal the heaviest files on your Mac. From there, you can preview them with the spacebar, decide if you still need them, and delete the ones you don't. Method 3, one-click space freeing solution for DDIG McCleaner. Now, the two methods I just showed you are very effective, but let's be honest, going through files manually can take a lot of time. If you'd rather have a faster one-click solution, there's a tool I recommend, 4DDIG McCleaner. Here, I will briefly demonstrate the functions of 4DD. First is the first junk file. 4DDIG can clear out system data and caches that usually take forever to track down manually. Then the following two functions are mainly for duplicate files and similar photos, which is also helpful for organizing your Mac. The last one is the large files. 4D Dig can help you filter out large files and sort them by size with one click, eliminating the need to manually filter them one by one. You can then delete them as needed. Cleaning up space on your Mac is actually not complicated. Follow the three methods above, and you will free up a lot of space on your Mac. If this video helped, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more Mac tips. And if you run into any issues, drop your questions in the comments, I'll do my best to help. See you next time.